Hello everyone. For everyone who is new to my channel, my name is Shirley and I'm following the Yellow Brick Road. Today I want to show you an adventure that I took in Ohio on my way back home through to Missouri. I stopped in the town of Mansfield, Ohio to see the Ohio State Reformatory. This was the filming location for Shawshank Redemption. It was a very interesting stop, and I just wanted to be able to share it with you. The reformatory was built between 1868 and 1910, and it was operational until 1990 when a U.S. federal court ruling ordered it to be closed. Shawshank Redemption was filmed here in 1994, and the buildings where it was filmed formed a perimeter around the, the actual reformatory, but those have since been torn down, but you can see them in the film. So let's take a tour, and I hope you enjoy this location as much as I did. Okay guys, we are at the Ohio State Reformatory. Two, 
three, four, five stories of cells. Okay, guys, this side is actually open. just so tiny. Oh, this one's got the bed made up. With the toilet inside and a sink. I guess so, if you were in that cell. But this one has a commode and a sink. This was the library. services office down here.
Mansfield was platted in June of 1808 as a settlement. It was named for Colonel Jared Mansfield, the U.S. Surveyor General, who also directed the planning of the settlement. It was incorporated as a village in 1828 and then as a city in 1857. Between 1846 and 1863, four railroads came through the city and Mansfield became a center of manufacturing and trade. Some of the big name places are National Biscuit Company, Westinghouse, Eclipse Stoves and Ranges, Mansfield Tire Company, Mansfield Machine Works, and many others. There was also a General Motors plant here at one time um, and several other places of industry. Check out the history for yourself. It's really quite fascinating. On the bottom floor of the reformatory is their Mansfield Industrial Age Museum. It was really a walk back in time and very enjoyable. So let me take you through it. Take a quick run through the Industrial Museum. The industry, industry in the age of cast iron. Stoves, pumps, foundries, railroads. My great grandmother used to have one like that in her kitchen. Different stoves from different ages. A microwave. Tap and stove with a double oven, double broiler. Very cool. Cigars and beer. 200 girls wanted. Can earn within four months from six to eight dollars a week and more with greater experience. That's pretty cheap labor. Super duper blow bubble. <laughs> That's funny. Toasters and hair dryers and fans. There's a bicycle up there. Fisher Body, Mansfield, Ohio. Pretty cool. City of Wheels, Mansfield. That's pretty cool. This is an 
old ironing press. My grandmother had a similar one. She used to iron tablecloths and sheets and really big items. This is a Westinghouse refrigerator freezer in the bottom. Pretty cool. And a Westinghouse laundromat. How about that? Let's go back this way. TV antenna. Dedicated to the families of the United States. That is very cool for Mansfield. I remember seeing this. So neat. Electro and Sparko. There's a fan back there. An electric stove. Wolf iron, toaster, irons. of the future. How about that? So Westinghouse started here in Mansfield. Very cool. <laughs> Here's a bowling pin set. Go-kart. Little motorbike. stop off here. Ohio State Reformatory and I'm driving through a residential area in Mansfield. Um, gonna be hopping
heading on to Interstate 71 South and heading to my destination for the night. All right, I made it to our location for the night. Der Dutchman, Amish Cooking Kitchen. It's quite a big place. And I am parked back in behind that gazebo over there in the corner. They have tons of items that you can purchase here. Cheeses, fries, and desserts, ice cream. 